गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एरोपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियो ऑन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड द टॉपिक वी विल बी कवरिंग टुडे इज डिडक्शन नाउ इन डिडक्शन यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ वेज ऑफ थिंकिंग अबाउट प्रॉब्लम लॉजिकली एंड देर बाय अराइविंग एट अ सोल्यूशन टू दोज प्रॉब्लम इन दिस वीडियो वील टेक अ लुक at a few such logical streams so the first type of problems the logic is that if x happens then y happens so basically x is the cause of y however this does not mean that if y has happened x must have happened for example if i say if i go to the movies i feel excited so going to the movie is a cause for feeling excited at the same time it does not mean that if i am feeling excited i have gone for a movie think of it like a bulb with several switches okay so the bulb will glow whenever you are feeling excited however going to the movie is not the only switch that will switch on the bulb there can be several other reasons for you to feel excited for example when you see a dish that you like to eat or when you see a program on television that you like then also you can feel excited so i am not saying that going to the movie is the only cause for feeling excited however it is one of the causes so if i do go to the movie i will feel excited it is not however true that if i am feeling excited i have gone for a movie okay so type 1 if x happens then y happens but it's not necessary that if y has happened then x must also have happened okay let's take a look at type 2 another kind of logic in this scenario i say that only if x happens then y happens so in this scenario x is the only cause of y in the previous scenario x was one of the causes of y in this scenario we have removed the other causes so this means okay this definitely means that if y has happened x must have happened so in the feeling uh, excited example we took in this case if i tell you that only if i go to a movie do i feel excited okay so that means i feel excited only when i go for a movie in that case if i am feeling excited it means that i must have gone for a movie so in this kind of a logical sequence the reverse holds true okay so if i say that only if x happens then y happens then it is implied that if y has happened x must have happened so hope this is clear these two uh, logical flows are clear to you let's move ahead to third type of logical flow this says that if x happens then y will not happen okay if x happens then y will not happen so let me say if i meet my friends then i will not feel lonely okay if i meet my friends that is x i will not feel lonely feeling lonely is y this also means that if y has happened x must not have happened okay so uh, if i tell you that if i meet my friends then i will not feel lonely and uh, later on if i am feeling lonely that means i have not met my friends. because if i had met them then i would not be feeling lonely but since i am feeling lonely that means i have not met them okay so let's review this once more if x happens then y will not happen okay so i will say uh, that if i if i observe that y has happened then x must not have happened okay otherwise uh, this will not be true so if i am lonely i have not met my friends and uh, because if i had met them i would not be feeling lonely the next one another logical flow 
either x will happen or y will happen so i am considering an either or scenario over here either this or that so this means that one of them has to happen definitely okay uh, it will never be that neither does x happen nor does y happen okay basically one of them will happen either x or y it also implies that both of them cannot happen together so if i tell you that either x will happen or y will happen it means that only that either x or y neither will it be the case that neither x nor y has happened nor will it be the case that both x and y have happened okay so in short they are mutually exclusive either x or y a classical example of this is a coin toss when you toss a coin you will either get heads or you will get tails okay it will never happen that the coin will come and stand in the center that only happens in the movies so either it will be heads or it will be tail so what do i know that if i toss a coin either head or tail will definitely come it will never happen that i uh, neither do i get a heads nor do i get a tail okay either of them has to happen and it is also true that if i get a heads i will not get a tail and also if i get a tail i will not get a head okay so one of them will happen and both of them will not happen together so they are mutually exclusive the final logical stream in this the fifth type is that if x does not happen y will happen okay so if x does not happen then y will happen now this means that at least one of them has to happen okay, that either x will happen or if x does not happen then y will happen or both of them can also happen together so if y has happened it is not implied that x did not happen okay so for example if i am going to a restaurant and uh, i say that if i don't get uh, noodles i will get fried rice okay if i don't get noodles i will get fried rice so that means if noodles are not there uh, at least fried rice i can eat so at least one of them will be there however it does not mean that uh, if i am eating fried rice i have not consumed noodles okay it is at least if x does not happen y will happen is an at least scenario that at least x or y will happen that much is guaranteed and both of them can also happen together but just in case x does not happen y will happen okay so these are the five logical streams that i wanted to discuss with you and uh, we will have a second part of this video in which we will be solving some interesting examples using these uh, different logical flows so do join me in that part in second part of edupedia world's video on uh, deductions in our logical reasoning series i'll see you in part 2 thank you